Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Custom Spray Mods. In this video, I'm going to paint some brakes. Okay, so we're going to paint these Brembo brakes. Now, before I start sanding them, I'm going to clean them with a soda blaster. I don't know if you ever used soda before, but it's a great way to remove grease and grime from car parts or brakes, anything like that. So, we've sprayed them with the soda blaster, got them nice and clean. Now, we're going to sand them with some 320 grit dry sandpaper. Now that the brakes are all sanded, I'm going to mask them up and um, yeah, just put some tape over everything that I don't want the paint to go on. So over all the seals and all the grease nipples, uh, everything like that, then I'll be ready for the next step. I'm going to clean it with wax and grease remover, then I'll hang them up, ready to start painting. Now I'm going to use 2K etch primer on these brakes. Because I'm going to spray the brakes in two pack, I'm going to use 2K etch primer. And that's like an acid etch that bonds to the metal really well and it's going to help my paint stick. So I've done that sprayed it with the 2KS primer. Now I'm going to let it dry for about half an hour. Okay, so they've dried for half an hour. I'm going to scuff them with some grey scotch Bright. I'm going to scuff the primer just to help the new paint stick a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I've done that. Now I'm going to clean them all up with some wax and grease remover again. And then I'll be ready to start spraying my base coats. I'm going to spray silver base coat first. Do that over all the brakes. Spray the silver over all the brakes. And um, that's going to give me a good base for my next few layers. Okay, now I'm ready for the next step and that's flake. I'm gonna put this silver flake into a clear base coat binder. It's basically just like paint, but clear. I'm just gonna put a whole heap of flake in that binder and mix it up and spray it over the brakes. Making sure I get an even coverage over all the brakes because that silver flake is gonna show through my next coat. The next coat I'm gonna spray is candy. I'm gonna use candy apple red. This is spray cheap. I'm gonna spray it over the silver flakes and um, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna look pretty awesome. So it's not going to be shiny straight away, it's going to have a flat finish. The next step is clear coat. Before I put the clear coat on, I'm going to put the Brembo stickers on the brakes. Now this is a tricky bit, you've got to make sure you get it nice and straight. Because if you put the clear coat on and it's not straight, it's too late. So yeah, get these on and then you can clear coat over these stickers. That's going to seal them off, make sure that they stay clean and attached, and that's what you want. So I've mixed up my two-pack clear, and now I'm spraying about two coats over the brakes. Make sure you get even coverage and get into all the little nooks and crannies. The 2K clear is going to seal off that base coat, make it look nice and shiny, and protect it. It's going to be heat resistant. It's going to be awesome. Check it out. They look like in the sun. And they're going on this beast. Okay, now the brakes are painted, you need to put them back on the car. Make sure you put them on correctly because you don't want to be driving down the highway, put your foot down and you've got no brakes. So yeah, make sure you know what you're doing. You want to bleed the brakes, you need to suck the brake fluid all back through your lines and then bleed them again. And uh, yeah, you shouldn't have any problems, but be careful when you're putting your brakes back on the car. Well, there you go, spray these brakes, put the etch primer, silver base, silver flake, uh, red candy and 2K clear over the lot to give it the shine and protection and they look pretty cool. I've got that exact same paint job on my car um, on the brakes and I've done a whole heap of track days and I've never had a problem with the paint uh, fading or bubbling, anything like that. So I know this process works. So if you're thinking of doing your brakes, get some candy and some 2K clear and you're going to have no problems at all. So that was that. Um, I've painted brakes before. I've got a few videos on that. Um, yeah, I've got this video using aerosol cans where I tested the brakes, I jacked up the car, held the brake and accelerator at the same time, got the brakes smoking hot and tested the temperature. Yeah, a bit of the brakes boiled and the paint kind of boiled up, but that bit of the caliper got really hot. I mean, yeah, so I, I hope when I, when I put that video out, I was hoping that people just have a bit of common sense and realize that you never jack up your car and hold the accelerator and brake at the same time. Because if you do that, yeah, your paint will fail. So don't do that. There you go, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it can help you in your next project. Um, I've got a few other videos that you can watch 
that might be able to help you if you're doing some DIY spray painting at home. Uh, yeah, if you're in Sydney, you can come over to VG Auto Paints and you can do one of my lessons. It's a hands-on lesson where you get a panel, you get to dent the panel, fix it, uh, spray primer, color, clear, buff the clear, and um, yeah, mix up color, set up your spray gun, I go through all that, it's a great day and a great lesson. So if you're in Sydney, come on down and have a go. It might help you in some projects that you got coming up. Other than that, have a good one. See you later.